Oh, hello. How are you? Um, I'm feeding my birds. That's my new obsession at the moment. But I'm going to go in my greenhouse because it's a bit, it's a bit warm in there. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna step over the slab there. So. How you doing? Here we are, day four of my mental children's mental health week. If you remember, day one was Fear Tells Lies. Day two, just for today. Day three, Attitude of Gratitude. And today, day four, Thinking. Right, and thinking is a most, it's a really important part of mental health and well-being, because you can think and you can overthink. And when you overthink, that's called ruminating. You, you get thoughts inside your head and you worry about them. But in your life, there's two types of, in my opinion, thoughts can be separated into, and we have these thoughts automatically. You think, I'm thirsty, so I'll need a drink. I want to feed the birds, so I think I'll fill this up. This is my little shed, by the way, my little greenhouse, I love it. I come in here in the summer and I do all my plants. And in the winter time, it's my little feeding station for my birds. It's a bit sad, but it makes me happy. So, go back to my thoughts. You can either have negative thoughts or you can have positive thoughts. We call them gnats, a negative automatic thought, because you have automatic thoughts all the time. Or you can have a positive automatic thought. Now, I've got four big sisters. My eldest sister, Patricia, she sadly, she died when she was 37 and she died of cancer and she's gone to heaven. But I speak to her still on you know, a daily basis and she's my guardian angel, she looks after me. And we used to call her Pat. And Pat always reminds me of a positive automatic thought. Whenever I think of my sister, I always think positive things. And, and I, do have, I do have negative thoughts quite a lot, but I have to think, ah, I don't like you, you're a negative thought, I'm not going to listen to you. So, today's lesson is think small dream big and what i mean by that is your thoughts you have every day you've got like i said you've got to have thoughts but the difference between a thought and a dream a dream is something massive that you want that sometimes seems like you know you can't achieve it i read something once and it says if your dreams don't scare you they're not big enough think about that if your dreams don't scare you they're not big enough now Years ago, I wanted to be a teacher, and I loved being a teacher. But then a few years later, I thought, I'd love to be, I'd love to be a writer, I'd love to be a poet, I'd love to talk about mental health and well-being. But I thought, I can't, because I've got a job and I've got a mortgage, and, and I never, ever followed it because I was having lots of negative automatic thoughts. But then the one day I thought, I'm just going to follow my dreams. I'm going to go for it. And I thought, things will... Things will come into things will come, things will happen. And I did, I've written my three poetry books. I'm going to write a book soon about mental health and well being. And because what I do, I think big. I sorry, I think small and I dream big. Right? But it, you have to have a big dream, but you have to the difference is you have little thoughts and they help you achieve your big dream. Now you might think, right, I want to be a famous scientist. That's your dream. But you have to think, right, I need to be good at science, so I need to do my homework. I need to work hard at school, I need to go to university, I need to be a good team player. So they're all the little thoughts you have to achieve a big dream. And then, don't let anybody ever, ever, ever steal your dreams. Whatever you want to be, I believe whatever you want to be, you can be. But you obviously you've got to, there's a process of getting there and working hard. It's very rare that people get it for nothing. You've got to work hard and work hard at school and read and you know develop talking to people, working in groups, all these sort of things. So, that's today's lesson. It's about thinking small, but dreaming big. Now, my dream was, like I said, it was always to be a poet and an author. Now, I wrote a poem today. Somebody, somebody sent me an envelope today. And um, this, is, this is how I scribbled it down today. And I'm, this, this, the first line came into my head was when I was in bed last night. So... I'm going to read it off the envelope. It says, think small, dream big. Think small, dream big. Don't just exist. Go on, it's time to live. To live a life beyond your wildest dreams. Things aren't, things aren't always as bad as they seem. 
Life's not easy and we know it can be tough. If your dreams don't scare you, then they're not big enough. So fake it to make it, that might be the trick. But always remember, think small, dream big. So that's today. So we've told you that fear tells lies. We've kept everything in the day. We've had an attitude of gratitude and we're gonna, th we're gonna dream big. Yeah, and all those negative little thoughts, we're gonna make them really small. Yeah, don't let negative automatic thoughts rule your life. Change them into positives. Okay, so that's me. Tomorrow is the final day and it's gonna be called Celebrate You. So that's what you need to do. So until tomorrow and before it gets too dark in my greenhouse, I love you all very much. Oh, by the way, I've had lots and lots of positive comments for these little these little videos I'm putting on. Will you like my videos and can you subscribe to my YouTube channel? Ask your mum and dad to subscribe, your aunts and your uncles. Play these videos to people. There was a lovely school called James Bateman up in um, up in Nipersley near uh, Biddulph and my friend's the deputy head there, Mr Pace. And he said that some of the children said, I love, I love Pep's poems, I love Pep's uh, stories because they cheer me up and I'm going to keep watching them when I feel bad, when I feel sad, I'm going to watch them. Oh, that made me so happy. So can you subscribe to my little channel? That would be great. Till tomorrow, keep safe. And as always, just be brilliant. Love you all very much.